I've created a new feature uh, today on our invoices. I think it's going to help everyone. Um, you know, we do have some problems sometimes recognizing what we have in stock going back and forth to the stock list um, to check stock is, you know, a little bit, I don't know, cumbersome. So uh, I'm just going to bring up, um, do a search for over uh, some popular bars, A123s. Okay, here, um, and we can see here that if we were to check this for a customer, um, you know, that, uh, you know, we've got one left to sell and one available. So that means that no one's reserved it. Uh, and there's one physical in the warehouse, uh, supposedly. So let me bring up the invoice template. Uh, this is uh, all of these have been copied into uh, your uh, invoice folders now already. All right. So as, as per usual, everything else was there, you know, how many remaining not delivered, um, you know, notes, etc. So the two new columns, Q and R, uh, the new columns are available now and left to sell. Uh, so uh, just, you know, sort of imagine that we've already filled out these other areas. Uh, let me just zoom in a little bit more on, for people with smaller screens. Okay, so um, A123B, if you're selling it to a customer on the spot, or also doing a quote. This will also work on the quote templates. I've updated those as well. Okay, then um, the information that you're gonna get is how many available now, uh, that information coming from this column and how many left to sell uh, coming from column G. Okay, so you can confidently sell this uh, assuming that the stock list is up to date, which uh, on a daily basis it normally will be. Um, so you can safely sell that. Um, let's use another example. Let's use a mixer, uh, which we sell a lot, 2S series. Okay. Um, now you'll see here that available now is minus 157. So you'd think there's no way that I can sell that, but that's not the case um, because this is normally uh, quantities like that would mean this is reserved for projects, most likely, or a project. But you'll see that left to sell is 143. Now, why is that? That's because. If I search it in the stock list, that's because we have 300 of them on order. And of course, if you go to overseas shipments, then you can also find that we there's 100 coming in mid June, and then there's a uh, you know, and then there's going to be a further uh, there's another 200 uh, at the end of August. Okay, so if you're selling products, you know, like mixers like this, then you know this using the left to sell column is the safest way. Um, in terms of items that we regularly carry on hand, okay? So if ever in doubt, you know, naturally you can check with the warehouse for the physical stock. But most importantly, you know, when we're selling bars and basins, STO4A, we've got five left, five to sell. STO4B, when you're selling it, we've got two to sell right now. You know, STO4E, yeah, we've got minus one available now, right now, but we have one left to sell. So this is this is this is critical. This is a great example. So right now, physical, somebody wants to buy, pick one up, you have it delivered. No, we don't have it. But we do have one left to sell right now. Uh, and then you know, then you just have to go to overseas shipments, you know, to check to see if it's uh, when it's coming. Okay. And then and then if you sell that, then we can uh, you can see we've got two coming end of July. All right, so hopefully this makes things a bit easier. We'll use one more example. Let's look at Cubo 3M, Basin's popular. Okay, 19 available right now, well, left to sell. That means 10 on extra on order. Nine available right now in the warehouse, good to go. Cube 6M, nine left, nine, nine, etc., etc. So I'll delete this. Okay, hope it makes sense. If it doesn't, let me know as usual. Yeah, give me a ring, drop me a line. Um, but um, this should make things easier and also uh, should hopefully expunge uh, some, um, more, some of these mistakes that we're making where we're selling things that we don't have, um, which is bad uh, across the board. Um, you know, it's bad for business, it's bad for the customers. Um, you know, I prefer not to sell something we don't have, obviously, and then move them on to sell something that we do have or have coming. Cheers.